Today, I'm gonna to share with you five additional tips to help with your SLA resin printing. What is up guys? I hope you're having a great day today. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you five additional tips to help you with your SLA resin printing. Before we start, I just wanna apologize for that guy in the back. He wasn't cooperating. Tip number one. So the first thing we're gonna be talking about today is filling your vat. Many times I've seen online, persons are filling their vat and when the build plate comes down into the vat, it nearly overflows or it gets all up into the mechanisms that actually hold the build plate in place. So tip number one is to help with that. And this is a very simple tip. So what you need to do is home the build plate into the vat and then pour your resin just to the level that you would like. So that way you're always sure when the build plate comes down into the resin, it doesn't go into the screws and all of the other mechanisms that help level your build plate. This is especially important for you guys who like to print very quickly and you have really fast retract speeds. So this leads me right into tip number two, measuring your resin. Most of the time when you have a lot of resin in your vat, you're not sure how much it's gonna be used and you're not sure if you're gonna end up with a print that ran out of resin during the night. So what you should do is you should measure the amount of resin you're gonna be using and ensure that your vat has enough resin for your print. So there are two ways you could do this. One, you could use a small measuring cylinder. Some manufacturers include a measuring cylinder when you buy their printers, such as the Elegoo Mars, or you could get a small one in a chemistry shop or a pharmacy. Just check it out. It's very easy to find. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at your slicer, and a lot of times the slicer will tell you how much milliliters of resin your print is gonna take. So you need to calibrate that and be able to tell that you're gonna have enough resin in the vat. Now you don't wanna put exactly the amount that is required. What you would do is you wanna make sure that you have enough to cover the base of the vat and then you pour the required amount. Now this is only if you just put enough resin for your prints. A lot of persons actually just keep the vat at a particular level and they ensure that they always have enough resin to print their print. But if you are one of those guys who just put enough to have your print done, then this is one method to do that. Also, it may help if you just have a little bit of resin remaining in your bottle and you don't have any more, you can measure it up to see if it'll be enough for your next print. Another thing you can do is you can print a resin gauge. A resin gauge will allow you to measure the amount of resin in your vat. And what it is, it's a small print that clips to the edge of your vat and due to the graduations on the resin gauge, you should be able to tell how much resin you still have in the vat. I'll put a link in the description below for a resin gauge on Thingiverse for you so you can take a look at it. This one is designed for the Elego Mars, but I'm pretty sure you could find one that's designed for the Anycubic Photon or the Epax X1 or any one of those very popular SLA printers. So this particular resin gauge has graduations of 2.5 millimeters and this is roughly equivalent to about 33 milliliters of resin. At 15 millimeters, there's a big jump and this is equivalent to about 200 milliliters of resin and you really shouldn't be putting more than that in your vat. Now keep in mind while you're printing this gauge may move so you want to make sure it's secure just before you print and you do your measurement and it's up to you if you want to leave it in place so it's very easy to remove and just clean up and put to the side when you're ready to fill your vat again. Also keep in mind this is just a guide it's not very very scientific right down to the milliliter. So it's a guide to help you while you measure your resin. Tip number three, print on different parts of your FEP. So what I usually do is I take a picture of the first layer of all my prints and I just stack them up one on top of the other to have a visual idea of where I'm printing on the FEP. Now remember, the FEP wears out over time so you really don't want to be printing in the same place all of the time. So what I do is I move my prints around on the FEP 
just to ensure that I'm utilizing the entire build area. That being said, there's sometimes a sweet spot that you like, but you're gonna have to make sure that you really exercise that and move some smaller prints around just so you don't wear out that one particular area in the FEP. Tip number four. Most of the time, people have problems with their prints sticking to their FEP. And this could be solved with a very, very easy trick. What you wanna do is you wanna get some three in one Teflon spray, or I use rain -X, which is used on your windscreen in your car, which is also Teflon based. And I put a little bit on the FEP before I pour in my resin. This really helps to make sure that the print actually peels away from the FEP when it's printed and it doesn't get stuck there. So if you are having problems with your prints sticking to your FEP, this might be a good tip to try. Tip number five. So this is a follow-up from the tip that I provided in the previous video about removing bubbles from your resin. If you remember clearly from the last video, I spoke about shaking your bottle in a circular motion and then pouring your resin and then you end up without bubbles. I also received a message from a YouTuber that mentioned that if you use a hair dryer on the resin while it's poured, then the bubbles tend to go away or they tend to dissipate. So this is tip number five and it's just a follow up from tip number four. Use a hair dryer to remove the last bit of bubbles in your vat before you print. So there you have it guys. Five more tips to help you with your SLA resin printing. If you like this video, please hit like and please subscribe by hitting the subscribe button and that little bell you see on the side. Have a good one and happy printing.